G'day, Jeff checking in here from Takapuna. We are standing outside where a whole lot of Pudakawa trees used to stand. They've been cut down for development. And the police have joined us today. We've got Richard Hursthouse here from Forest and Bird. Richard, what's going on? So we are protesting here because Forest and Bird and everybody around here is fed up with losing our huge native trees in Auckland. We've got a big message for the government and that is to speed up the RMA reform. We need to reverse the changes of the previous government that removed the protection on these trees. The other message we've got is for Auckland Council. Auckland Council needs to speed up their scheduling process so that these trees are much easier to protect. Yep. When we see that trees are threatened we should be able to see and they're special, we should be able to urgently put a protection on them until they've been assessed properly. So we've got those messages for Auckland Council. Auckland Council needs to act and the government needs to act. The LIDAR data, LIDR, what that is is an aerial assessment of the city. I understand from people in council that that shows a massive tree loss throughout Auckland. Auckland Council needs to release this information. And they're sitting on it. I don't know why. I think they've got something to hide. Oh, this is probably a month or so ago. Yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> We've got Rachel Tomlinson here, you're a, you're a resident around here? I live next door. Yep. What happened? You saw these native trees and then they're gone, right? Contacted the council because I couldn't believe the pudicabas were really big. Yeah. And the council said that there was nothing that they could do, that nothing, there was no regulation. We had lots and lots of trees next door. Wow. And um, the tree, the bird life was just amazing and now there's just an empty barren, not a great blade of grass, nothing green left. Wow. What are you guys here for? Um, basically to save our big mature urban trees yeah, that are just disappearing, you know, at a rapid rate really. Yeah. And it's happening in all neighbourhoods. There's no consultation, nothing that's going. Because the last thing they want is to be halfway through building yeah. with a lot of people protesting outside trying to save a tree. Where do the birds go? Mel's Barton, a couple of key messages, what can we do, how can we make these changes? Okay, so it's really important if we want to change the RMA and get tree protection back into the RMA that you write to David Parker and your MP and tell them that it's urgent that we get the tree rules back into the RMA. Really important that we do this now, otherwise we're going to lose all our urban forest and it'll be too late. Since the tree rules were removed from the RMA, we've estimated that we've lost one third of Auckland's urban forest. That means that we're losing the mature trees, it's not the saplings, it's the ones that give us all the benefits and the, and the values that we rely on to have a good quality of life in the city. Challenge the council to change the scheduling rules to make it easier to get more mature heritage trees onto the schedule. Removing the landowner veto, at the moment council, the landowner can say no I don't want that tree to be scheduled, that needs to be gone, these are public assets and it's up to all of us whether we want these trees scheduled. So right to your councillors tell them to make it easier to put trees on the schedule um, and to do it now while we've still got some heritage trees that are worth saving. Choice. Thanks Mouse.